Hey guys, I am back. And I will be playing some more Undertale. Now, let's continue our game. I'm still using the controller. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. The best kind of pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. Room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. What is that message? Why is that message there? Look at these cool toys. You're not interested in them. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. What's this way? A broken. A bit, a bit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. You're all too intimidated to talk to her, Ribbit. You found the toy knife. I'm gonna equip it. Because I messed up. Um, I'm gonna look for the knives. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutter, cookie key cutters for gingerbread monsters. What a nice smell. Do you want to eat, though? The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Where's... Where are the knives? Joe, I need help finding the knives. Where are the knives? Um, I uh, only get the, get the knives at the end of the game. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hello there, little one. Toy. The pot has yes. not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap. Yes. Sweet dreams. Yes, I'll take a nap. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie! It's you! Room under renovation. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. already I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still. I am glad to have you living here. Oh. Did you want something? What is it? Um, when can I go home? What? This... this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? 
how to exit the rooms. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails sometimes flip their dis digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. I have some. I have to do something. Stay here. No. I'm racing you. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. I wish to know how to return home, do you not? I had a bus lies at the end of the ruins. One way I get to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Good child, and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Yes. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. I know how to do this. What are you doing? Attack or run away. What are you proving this way? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Fight me or leave. <laughs> Tori people is acting a loop. Stop it. Stop looking at me that way. Away. Let me die! <laughs> <laughs> Toriel takes a deep breath. Oh, you almost killed yourself. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy, trapped down here. The woods are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectation, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand.
This part still gets me every time. The fails! The fails! The fails! Doop -ba -doop -ba -doop. I'm staring at you. I'm staring at you for no particular reason. Joe, look. I'll just stare deeply into someone's soul. <laughs> Okay, let's stop. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't ya? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die! Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Go away, Flowey. And I know you'll follow me throughout the rest of the game. I just know it. I'll be watching. By Toby Fox. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. What the hell? Something broke it. Oh! I saw that! Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. God damn it, Joe. <laughs> The old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always, it's always funny. funny. Shut up! I'm they doing- see my dub. <laughs> no one else wants to see your dub. I don't want my dub. <laughs> well, shut up. Too bad. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. What the heck, Joe? Get that away from my... Get that the hell away from my recording. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. Good. I have, done. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made it. The bar's too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. 
What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Well, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Come on, everyone knows about that. Okay, you can come out now. You want to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. It's some sort of checkpoint or a sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before. I think you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. You went the wrong way, Sands. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Okay, what shall I put in the... Nothing. Snow Drake! Ah, Snow Drake. Joke. I've heard that one. No Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. Chill out. See? Laughs. That was wrong. It's a fish rod fixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yes. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. So, as I was saying about undying. Uh, 
Actually, I think that's a rock. Ow. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! And I will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular, popular, popular! Ahem. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station! Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman! Nope, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Absolutely no moving! Ooh, no, it's Doggo! It's something new. Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves a- Easily excited by movement, hobbies include squirrels. You pet doggo. <gasps> what? I've been pet? Pet pot pet pot pot pet pot. You pet doggo. <gasps> Where is that coming from? Pet pet pot pot pet pot pot pot. You want you earned zero XP and thirty gold. S -s -s something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'll treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Someone's been smoking dog treats! Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Sliding across the ice. Lesser dog appears. Oh, it's so adorable! Hmm, you have quite the bargain here. Either I pet you, 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 or I check you. You barely lifted your hand and Lesser Dog got excited. Oh, it's so adorable! I wanted to pet it! I wanted to pet it! Do it again. You lightly touched the dog. It's already overexcited. Pant, pant, pant. Keep doing it. Oh shoot, I forgot about that. You pet the dog, it raises its head up to beat your hand. Pet, pet. I suck. Lesser dog is barking excitedly. Pet the dog, it's a good dog. Excited noises. <laughs> Ole! 
Unless her dog is overstimulated. You pet the dog, its excitement knows no bounds. Shoot! Critical pet! Dog excitement increased. You have to jump up to pet the dog. Motor revving. <laughs> you didn't even pet it. It gets more excited. Plane take off. Once <laughs> her dog shows no signs of stopping. There's oh, no way to stop this madness. Is wet, wet, waving like crazy. Once her dog enters the realm like the of the clouds. The I know this. You called the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far, far away, far away. Ah! <laughs> you can reach Lesser Dog again. Oh. You pet Lesser Dog. <laughs> you pet Lesser Dog. You pet Lesser Dog. Are we going to fast forward this montage by the end of where it just uh, start, where it keeps on repeating? It's possible you may have a problem. We'll stop there and then we'll continue to when it continues. It's possible you may have a problem. But look at this madness! <laughs> it's you so know, there adorable! Was a guy, there was a guy who took the extended and, um, uh, lesser dog. It's possible image and put it on a piece of paper and extend it all the way. I know, to the I know, I saw that. It's Am I sending him to hell? Lesser <laughs> dog is untenable, but appreciates the or, attempt. Or he might be going through your computer screen. Lesser dog is untenable, but appreciates the attempt. I think he's new. Lesser dog is whining because it can't see you. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I see his ears. He's back. Perhaps mankind was not meant to pet this much. <laughs> Hello there. It continues. Oh, it's so adorable! It continues. Oh, it's so he's adorable. through the item box. He's almost through the item box. Lesser dog is questioning your choices. <laughs> it continues. Lesser, Lesser dog, dog has gone, gone where, where no, no dog, dog has, has gone, gone before. before. That is the title, where no dog has gone before. Lesser dog is beyond your reach. There. And it and it just like revs back all the way like You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! 
Oh, how the human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, it, it this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Sags, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Ow. Oh, okay. <laughs> hold this, please. Wait, dude. Have you noticed that it's actually- Okay, try now! Have you noticed that it's actually the, uh, as the spike maze in, uh, the ma in the ruins, only backwards? <laughs> it is impossible to fail this. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily! Too easily! <laughs> However, the next puzzle will not be easy! It is designed by my brother, Sands. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Kara Kness. Ding! Wait. You're here and there at the same time? I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? How about 5,000 G? I have to pay for the raw material somehow. His. Furs. Huh. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. That's red. That's actually- Destroy at all costs. That's actually a reference to actual dog eyesight. They can't tell the difference between red and green. I hope you're ready for... That. Where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me. There's no way they can get past this one. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest! What? Really? Dude. That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. 
Cuban, solve this dispute. Which is harder, trouble or crossword? Don't you are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill all the boxes in with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. It'll do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. There's an unplugged. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. Hi. Yeah, I have to do this with every mouse hole I see. I have to. I think click it. Sans created that. That uh... knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. I think Sans actually made that uh, uh microwave. For papyrus as like birthday present? Maybe. He is Anyway, very smart and that was a lot about quantum physics. Anyways. Okay, I get it. Anyways, this is that Metroid Gamer, and this is part two of my Undertale series. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. This is That Metroid Gamer, signing off.